Central Kalahari Game Reserve, or the CKGR, is definitely a place you should put on your list when doing a self-drive safari. This video is meant to give you a hint of what it's like and what to expect down in good old CKGR. It is quite remote, and that is also the charm of it. If you are thinking about booking your trip there, I hope this video inspires you to do so. What we are going to do in this video, I'll tell you how you can get here easily. How I get here is from Maun, I follow the A3 to a place called Rackups. And then I take, just follow the sign into Kalahari. That will take you to the Matsuere gate. To get to the gate, it's 40 kilometers and then you pay your fees if you haven't already. If you plan to rock up at the gate unannounced with no bookings, it is entirely possible to get a campsite. Just remember to bring cash and a huge positive attitude. They don't accept credit cards at the gate and they are much more likely to help you out if you are smiling. I normally go through the Matsuere gate and have never had a problem getting a campsite. From the Matsuere gate, there is another 45 kilometers through the bush veld of the Kalahari coming to Deception Valley and here it is really easy to drive around. If it isn't flooded that is, but there aren't that many roads and they are usually well marked. I haven't had any problems the times I've been here. Um, if it is really flooded, if it has been raining a lot, it can be slippery and it can be really wet. It was a little bit wet when I uh, came in, but I have had no problems whatsoever. It's beautiful, beautiful driving uh, around on these pans. If this is your first time here and you are going in the rainy season, be careful as you can get stuck where there is mud or clay ground. I've been stuck a few times myself, which isn't the funnest thing in the world. But nothing a shovel, a bunch of digging and a lot of patience won't fix. So just take it easy and be careful. What you can expect to see here, obviously a lot of planes games, especially now that it has been raining a little bit. When it rains, these fellas also comes out. It is super lucky to get a sighting of African bullfrogs, as they come out to mate like this under very specific conditions after a certain amount of rainfall. I did not expect this at all. But if you have been following along on this African adventure, you know I often say this about Africa. Expect the unexpected. Such a great experience. I've seen a lot of Springbok, the Gemsbok or the Oryx. They are all over the place. I've seen a few giraffes and of course I have seen lions. I say of course like that is a guarantee. It is not. There is however a good chance to find them and when you do, there's also a good chance you will have the sighting all to yourself, since there aren't a lot of people around here. So I've also seen four cheetahs, and Central is a good place for cheetah sightings. This is probably where I've seen the most cheetahs. Kalhari is a great habitat for them. Can I recommend coming here? Absolutely, you should come here. Come to the Kalahari Desert and it will blow your mind. It's a beautiful place. Not a typ typical place you would go to for, for the game view, but just to be here. Let me quickly clarify. Central has great game view, but there are plenty of more accessible places to visit if you want to see loads of animals, like Muremi Game Reserve or Naipan. There is, however, something truly special about the central Kalahari. I can't describe it, it's just magical. It's the second largest game reserve in the world and I have been here almost alone. I've seen two cars, two other cars in my five nights here. And isn't that fantastic? This whole huge place all to myself, it is truly, it cleanses the soul. I guess you can say that yeah that's a good description by the way like this video subscribe to my channel it helps me make more and better content for you and it makes a difference believe it or not right let's talk about the campsites here per night uh, for the um, for the government campsites I pay around 170 Pula and that gives you access to deception campsites, also the quarry campsites. To be clear, when you book, you get a designated campsite, so you can't just pick and choose. But the camps are marked. When you stay in camp, you want good shade. Deception camps have better shade than the quarry camps, but the quarry camps are better. Um, let me adjust here. 
In camp you'll find a bucket shower, and sometimes the bucket is missing, meaning no shower. There's also walled toilets in the camps. And a concrete slab to make a fire. Very basic, very charming. Since this is not a comprehensive guide, this is all you get boys and girls, but come to the Kalahari, visit Central Kalahari um, Game Reserve once in your life. It's recommended. Especially if you want a wild, very authentic African bush experience. It is one of the few places left with hardly any humans. Put it on your bucket list. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That's all I have for you. Yeah, I'm not going to say anything else. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my evening. It is a sunset now and we have some beautiful clouds in the sky. So that's what I'm going to do now. Enjoy that and the silence and the birds chirping and uh, no light pollution. Maybe I'll take a few pictures of the moon. Who knows? And, uh, this is the end of the video. Please do subscribe, like I said. Leave a like, that also does help the channel and I shall see you in the next video. Hope you like this uh, vlog approach to uh, uh, your essential um, not comprehensive guide to Central Kalahari Game Reserve. Right, this is me, your amateur guide, Daniel Brin, signing out. Bye-bye. Uh,